A bus carrying members of the Bolsheviks party was attacked and pelted with stones, allegedly by AC supporters in Mutse in this Kukuni area of Limpopo. The bus was carrying party members from a manifesto launch in the area. Bolsheviks party leader Sion Morochi has expressed disappointment at what he believes is political intolerance. AC spokesperson Donald Lamulela says people or police rather must speedily investigate the matter. For more on the story, Sion Morochi, secretary of the Bolsheviks party, joins us now. Very good evening to you and thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us, Mr. Morochi. So please recount for us exactly what happened earlier. No, it was after we held a, a successful manifesto launch in, in the area called Putukani in the area in Sukukune district in Spark in Limpopo. Now, when we were ferrying our members from Tabakwibidu, we passed by the ANC members around the road. It was the main road that we utilized, all of us in the village. Now, on that road, ANC was holding a bash somewhere there. Now, we went the other side earlier around past four to five o'clock. When we came back, it was now towards six o'clock in the evening. And when we passed just closer to where they were holding a bash, there was a hump there. It's when they pedal our bus with uh, stones. They hit the, 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 the right window, the side where they were staying. Now we reported the matter to the police. We couldn't stop because we did not know uh, what will happen. But we avoided the confrontation by all means. We drove straight to the police station where we reported the matter yesterday night. So you say that AC members were holding a bash there. So you have ascertained that it was an official ANC event. No, it was not an event. We don't know what was that. It was a badge because when we were passing our, to the other side, we saw them showing us the, the liquor bottles and whatever. I thought it's a badge. It's a badge or it was a drinking or they were opening a tavern. We did not know what, what was happening, but we did, we did not mind because we were passing. Uh, it, it was along the road. We did not even bother us. Mm. I have to ask this question, Mr. Moroji, because you say ANC members. Now, are there ANC members or supporters? No, uh, uh, the, the very senior members of the ANC, even an ANC member from uh, Mpumalanga, he was addressing them later during the day in the very same event. Now, there is no way that it's not an executive or uh, an official event of the ANC because I saw even the councillors that I'm serving with them in the municipality, the officials hey, Mr. of Mohoji, the municipality. Mr. I, I need to interrupt you. You are contradicting yourself. Earlier on you said you weren't sure that it was an ANC event. Now you're saying there's no way it couldn't have been an official ANC event because it had executive members of the provincial ANC who were in attendance. Which one is it? Was it an no. official ANC event or wasn't it? it? It was a sort of event. I couldn't uh, detect whether it's an official event or it's, it's uh, if they're doing something. But later during the day, uh, I learned that the, uh, the whole member of NEC from Bumalang, he was passing by. He went there and even addressed them. The when I noticed that that was an, an official event. Later this morning when I discovered that, oh, the executive member was there after we reported. Yesterday when we reported to the MEC in the province, he said he will call all executive members in the area to uh, uh, try to identify what was the problem. Okay, so That's which executive then, member... That was an event. Which executive member was it that you saw present? And when you say the MEC, are you talking about the safety MEC whom you mentioned in your statement that you contacted? No, the, the, uh, the, the, the person I contacted was a, a member of the ANC in the province, the PEC member, Makuru Pech, the MEC of Safety and Security in the province. is the one that I called uh, when I got frustrated in the police station and said, this is what happened, because I needed also an escort. It was on my way back home. Um, I was going to use the very same route. It's what made me to call the MEC for an assistance. So the executive member that you saw at this event, did they act in any way like they were horrified at what was happening? Did they object to their behavior? Because you keep mentioning this person or persons. Are you able to name no. them? No, uh, my, my, my challenge is that uh, uh, the, the event or the, the other issues happened during the day when they got addressed and whatever. But later, when we uh, about everybody was leaving home and whatever, it's when the incident happened. Now, uh, those members, senior members, 
possibly they won't be there. It's only these junior members, the branch members, and all those other things. Was there any objection by those who were present who saw those attacking the bus? Uh, mind you, you can't stop when the pe people are peddling your, your car with stones and whatever. You simply run for your safety. We couldn't stop. The nearest area where we could stop, it was the police station around our area. We cannot just stop there. And I was called because... I was uh, almost a kilometer from the, the, the car when they attacked the bus. Now, as a senior leader of the very same party, Bolsheviks, I had to rush for our people that are in the bus to check who got hurt and all those other things. That's why I said, no, drive straight to the police station. We'll meet there. All right. Sien Mahotu from the Bolsheviks party. He's the secretary of the party. And, of course, we asked this because they released a statement saying uh, that uh, the ANC took the matter very lightly. We'll be speaking to the IC in just a short moment to find out if the matter has been reported to them and if it breaks the code of conduct for campaigning.